So, bros? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda tired right now. But I'm gonna do some thrifting at my favorite thrift shop, which is Frenzy. I'll be at the thrift store. I'm a thrift star. I need some Taco Bell right now. Of course, Sweet Baby Ray's the original. Super fucking good. That was delicious. Anyways, I'm gonna finish eating my second one. And then I'm gonna go into Frenzy and find some fucking heaters. All right, guys, this is the coolest LRG t-shirt I've ever seen. This looks like some demonic Led Zeppelin writing or something. I don't know, but it says Lifted Research Group, obviously. LRG, LRG tag on the neck. Then we have this really dope Stussy World Tribe tee right here. Super dope. This is more of a, well, it's a solid white, but it's almost like a creme de la creme. Extra large, super freaking clean. I'm telling you, look at that. No freaking spots. You look at that right there. It looks angelic as fuck. Ooh, FUBU boys, 2016. What is up? FUBU right there. There, the collection with the freaking Sam I Am hat right there. Uncle Sam hat on the B. FUBU X123, whatever the fuck that says. FUBU 05 New York on the back. Definitely going to cop this FUBU Boys collection. Ooh, Maui, Hawaii, the island I used to live on. Yes, I lived on Maui when I was a young little lad. As soon as I graduated high school, basically, I went to Hawaii and I was like, fuck this, man. I'm going to move to Hawaii, become a little hippie. And then I got really bored, moved back, and became a hippie here in Washington. Joined the military, moved back, became another hippie. All right, this is enough of the life story, but yeah. Damn, off the wall, original Vans T. Normally, whenever I find Vans tees, they are extremely damaged, but this is actually really clean, so I might have to pick this up. Creme de la creme, Polo Ralph Lauren. Look at this beautiful masterpiece right here. Of course, you got the side slits right here with the extended drop back, high fashion as fuck. You got the little golden or bronze Polo Man. Polo Man, let's get it, yeah. Polo by Ralph Lauren, size large. All right, guys, I do not normally cop denim, but I do need to show you guys some of the denim they have because they have some really dope denim. They have size 30 in formation denim. They have another pair right here. And then next to that, they have some Matix denim right here or Matix. I'm pretty sure it's Matix. What the fuck ever? Then they have some Wiesi denim. You guys might say Wesca is Wies. It means we are superlative conspiracy. I used to be obsessed with this brand because they had some really dope colorways of like hoodies and shit. But yeah, they have some really nice denim in here. Do not sleep. I've seen it. a lot of people walk away with some really sick crew denim. All right, I got some heaters for you guys. Look at this Mandarin collar denim button up. This is a must cop. This thing is super dope. 10 Deep actually drops a lot of like denim things like this. But I have them and theirs is not like a denim quite like this. This is like a thicker denim button up. As you can see, Mandarin collar, so you know it's high fashion as fuck. Super good condition. Definitely gonna get this and put this on the site. Then we have this Burberry-esque button up and I kinda wanna cop this cause it is a super dope colorway. It's not Burberry, so I'm kinda sad on that. But low key, this thing is fucking fire. Ooh, look at this almost corduroy vintage Ralph Lauren right here. This thing is super thick. It's like a weird material, I can't even explain it. You have all these little Cheez-Its all over this bitch. This thing looks super dope. Then we have another Ralph Lauren, and I'm pretty sure this thing is vintage. It just looks like a vintage-ass colorway, and then it's got this little tag right here that says Polo RL. If you look at this pocket right here, it's got like this pocket, and then it has this little finger pocket, which I have no idea what the fuck this is for. I'm guessing it's for like a pen or something. No, it can't be for a pen because it's stitched across. I don't know what the fuck this thing is for. Maybe it's to button that in? Like, does anyone know what the fuck this little button thing is for? What the heck? I don't know, but regardless, it's vintage polo, so you know I'm gonna get it. All right, and then we have this beautiful high fashion H&M Mandarin collar. You got the side slits on the side right here. Well, of course they're on the side because they're side slits, hence them being on the side. But yeah, really, really dope. Scoop high fashion as fuck. You guys already know I love Mandarin collars, so of course I'm super stoked to find two Mandarin collars in a single trip. Now this piece, low key, is like a grail piece to me. Like this thing is so dope. I'm kind of mad as a size large because size large jackets like this normally don't fit me and it looks like it's gonna be a little bit big, but of course this will be on the site. This is a quilted H&M bomber jacket. Super nice. I love quilted patterns. As you guys know, I have like a collection of quilted pieces. Super sick. It's in an olive green colorway. Look at this crazy ass shoe with the salted pretzel though. E Lux? Is this a No Lux collab though? Is this a collab with like E and No Lux? Remember those like leather hats that almost everyone copped and I'm pretty sure no one wears anymore? But yeah, look at this little button up collab. What's up? Yo, really though, the homie Geoffrey has been trill. Whipping the foreign skirt! I am here at Frenzy. I have just arrived. I'll be at the thrift store. I'm a thrift star. Frenzy nonprofit. It is a week later. 
from the last video that you just watched and uh, I am here there is my thrift mom right there so I'm going to get in and find some freaking fuego like I always do all right we have arrived in the trenches and the first thing we find is this beautiful western inspired vans off the freaking wall since 1966 with the crystal ball buttons right there ready to tell anyone's future on the go you already know Converse has been living the star life all right, we have some polo sleepwear here, and as you can see, you have the polo man. Polo man, let's get it, yeah, polo man, boo. Oh my goodness, look at this cotton candy Easter bunny colorway, Chaps Ralph Lauren. This thing is so dope, and I don't know if this is vintage or what, but I have not seen that tag ever in my entire life. Damn, y'all, I'm so sad right now. This is such a nice boot like literally this thing is in such good condition super nice but of course it is size 11 and sadly it will not fit me man that is such a freaking bummer oh my freaking god this is such a clean pendleton sir pendleton to be exact but yeah pendleton is definitely a quality brand and i'm telling you this thing is like pristine i would be shocked if this was ever worn i'm pretty sure this is brand freaking new but look at this beautiful masterpiece Ooh, we got some more polo man polo man polo man let's get it yeah polo man boo. look at the vintage tommy hill figure jeans you got the tommy logo right there Tommy logo right there, and of course, Tommy jeans right there. Why are all the women's heels all the time always lined with that King Midas gold interior? Damn, I never realized how tall this mirror is. What the fuck? That is so freaking gigantic. <laughs> Your boy just got done thrifting and I found two pieces of fire at the end that were not actually recorded because it was in their sorting segment or sorting section so it wasn't sorted yet. But damn, there is some fucking flame that I found. I'm gonna show you guys once I get home, of course. Friends, the thrift store here in Burien, Washington. I'll be at the thrift store. I'm a thrift star. So we're gonna go in and find some deals and steals. I'm with my little, uh tatted up friend homie over here so yeah let's go in and get a thing see if we can find some great stuff wow. i love running shoes and i'm low-key kind of beefing with paul because these are his size right here these are some fly knits in super good condition no like stains or anything anywhere i mean even the bottom like super freaking nice this is a crazy find and a perfect shoe for him to have anytime he's doing some athletic you know movements such as running or cycling really just running though let's be real okay i'm just kind of exaggerating the and fucking horses of these shoes oh and fucking horses yeah horses. i did the shoe gods not make these a size 10 what the fuck these are like the dopest new balance i've ever seen just all midnight black fucking assassin new balance super fucking sick fucking assassin's creed new balance collab super fucking dope i'm so pissed these do not fit but paul actually found these so he's gonna cop these and post on the site so one of you lucky fucking bastards who just so happen to be 11 will be able to cop this beautiful shoe and of course we're gonna stick some fucking shoelaces in it you already know but the shoe's in pristine condition look at that shout out to the homie cameron lean one time he loves armani exchange and uh yeah really dope little hoodie right here too bad it will not fit him but armani exchange really sick tag i like how they did the tag right there really high quality definitely a dope piece i'm gonna have to swoop this for sure okay guys so you already know one of my favorite brands is gravis it's super dope to find a pair of gravis in the thrifts i'm probably going to cop these and maybe give them to a homie or do something with them i don't know they're size 11 i'm hoping they fit paul because i always tell people gravis is such a dope shoe and they don't sell them in the u.s anymore because it's kind of like a japanese vans basically but super dope to find these in the thrifts i actually have this exact same pair however this pair will not fit me. I would not mind having a duplicate of it, just it's not a size nine and a half to a 10. So sadly, I will not get this for my personal. Super dope, lightweight Lacoste hoodie. It doesn't have the drawstrings in it, but that's really not that big of a deal because this thing is super dope and a must cop. Oh my God, guys, I found some fucking Supreme Bing. Damn, look at this beautiful Supreme Bing piece right here. So, bros, welcome to the thrift recap segment of this video. And today I have some fucking heaters for you guys. I'm super stoked. Everything that I copped today was from Frenzy or Main Street Thrift. Actually, I think everything in this one was caught from Frenzy, which if you guys don't know, you should check out both of those thrift stores. Main Street Thrift is in Auburn and Frenzy Thrift Store is actually in Burien. Of course, everything can be purchased on hfv.bigcartel.com, which I will leave on the screen along with a link to that website in the description below. And I will also put the Instagram on the screen, which is HFV official. And I'll leave a link to the Instagram in the description below as well. While you're following shit on Instagram, of course, follow me on Instagram, which is at the Starlife. That will now be on the screen and in the description below along with the link to all of my other social networks. Anyways, everyone, 
bunch of shit to show off, so let's get into it. First up, we have this Armani Exchange little pullover hoodie thing right here. Super fucking dope. High fashion as fuck. Next up, we have this royal blue Adidas fleece. This Ralph Lauren button-up is so fucking sick. You got the Ralph Lauren button-up right here, and it's in this really dope colorway. And of course, you got the polo man. Polo man, let's get it, yeah. Polo man, boo. Speaking of really dope Ralph Lauren colorways, we got this Chaps Ralph Lauren button up right here. And as you can see, it says Chaps Ralph Lauren. This colorway is fucking insane. Super dope piece. Woohoo! Now that I'm going through all this shit, I'm realizing I had so many dope Ralph Lauren colorways that I found. Look at this Ralph Lauren button up right here. Super fucking sick. You got the hints of green with that purple and pink. Could be purple or could be pink, depending on how you mix that shit. And then, of course, you got the Polo Man. Polo Man, let's get it, yeah. Next up, we have this crazy fucking button up. This thing is super dope. Definitely a must cop for the summertime. You have all of this like paisley print all over this bitch looking super fucking dope. So if you want to be a high fashion gangbanger, definitely cop this right here. We have this button up right here. And this button up is from uh, Not On or whatever the fuck it says. And it says Rest in Classic. Really fucking dope. And honestly, I got this because the plaid is just a super dope plaid design. It kind of looks like a Burberry design, and I love the creme de la creme base with all these other little, like, darker pigments in it. It just looks really fucking dope. Super clean button down. We also got some outerwear button downs. We have this Patagonia button down. Super fucking nice. And then we have this fucking Pendleton button down. Bam! Look at that bitch. That thing is fucking clean as ever. Definitely a super clean Pendleton. We have this beautiful lightweight Vans hoodie. You got kind of like a little Henley going on right there it's a super light like t-shirt weight so it's still really good for the summertime oh my goodness this is a super dope polo by polo ralph loren you do not have the polo man however you do have the ralph loren tag right there at the bottom of the polo and you have this little cargo pocket super fucking dope definitely a clean vintage essential piece of course you have that obey crew neck with the obey script right there then you got a black scale hoodie right here. Look at this bitch. Oh, let me turn this hoodie the right side out. Black scale, you got the little black scale B right there on the breast assist. We got this Altamont flannel. It's a little dip dye flannel, as you can see. It's dark, it's light. It's dark, it's light. Little vintage polo by Ralph Lauren. Super crazy Ralph Lauren piece. This is like a corduroy button down. This thing is fucking crazy. The texture of this fabric is fucking nuts. And you can just see it looks super fucking vintage. I'm getting them little neck buttons down right now. Super clean, essential H&M olive green jacket or army green jacket. I don't really fucking know. I almost said arm leave or like I almost mixed army and olive because that's kind of what it is. Anyways, really dope. Got all these quilted patterns. Super essential piece. Woohoo! Super clean Stussy World Tribe T. Definitely a dope find. Another high fashion as fuck. H&M jacket. This thing is super fucking clean and of course you got some hickey hider action going on around the neck I'm telling you H&M stay protecting your neck from the hickeys. This is actually a puma hoodie And I just thought this piece was kind of dope I like that this piece goes up and kind of guards the neck a little bit more But yeah overall crazy little puma cut and sew action going on really clean creme de la creme Polo by Ralph Lauren long sleeve super dope. You got the little drop hand with the split side things or split side slips, whatever the fuck. Basically this piece is high fashion as fuck. We have this Italia jacket right here, just super clean piece. Don't fucking text me when I make a video. Ooh, this was fire, lightweight Lacoste. God damn it, stop texting me. Anyways, lightweight Lacoste jacket, really fucking dope. It's a little lightweight Lacoste hoodie, not jacket. I don't know why I said jacket. Anyways, really clean piece. It is missing the drawstrings right here, but don't fret, just get some fucking shoestrings and run that bitch through the hood. We got some more streetwear for you guys. We got this Benny Gold tee right here. Then we have a cheap Monday stripe tee, super dope. And stripes are in right now, so get that for the low. Speaking of stripes, we have this hoodie right here. And this hoodie is by... Uh, who's it boy? Who's it by? H&M. This is an H&M hoodie. A little lightweight hoodie right here. It's like a knit fabric. Definitely a clean little striped hoodie. Definitely a dope piece to have for the summertime. And look how this hoodie crosses over. See that? Looking like a fucking... Uh, sand dweller that will hide your hickeys right here I'm telling you like i said man h m stays hickey hiding stop texting me bitches this is actually a forever 21 men's piece right here just a clean little uh, varsity jacket hoodie thing then we have a zara man t-shirt right here all over print you got all this like nautical compass shit all over that bitch okay we're getting into some heaters right first we got this right here little fubu collection little t-shirt right here and this is actually uh fucking patched in this is a patch like sewn in on the t-shirt really dope then we have this clean ass fucking denim button down it's got a mandarin collar uh what size is this bitch size medium okay i might not even sell this because this is actually like a 
denim weight and normally whenever you find these things they're like a lightweight cotton that just look like denim that's how the 10 deep ones are but this piece is super fucking dope i kind of wanted to stress the shit out of it so i might sell it i might not i might distress it wear it and then sell it who the fuck knows but super dope fucking piece all right we're getting to the last few heaters people getting to the last few fucking heaters we have this judas priest tea super fucking dope insane then we have this acdc tea also super fucking dope super crazy this is a tour t black ice 2009 and then the last heater from today's trip to the thrift is this chaps ralph loren jacket you have the hood right here it's green and red slash burgundy and the reason this piece is so fucking dope is because on the sleeve you have some little cut and sew action right and then it says chaps ralph loren on the fucking sleeve you have some vintage color blocking going on chaps ralph loren definitely a sick piece super stoked to find this in the thrifts now this is a super vintage piece so the zipper is kind of sticky to be honest i would never sell you guys something and not let you guys know ahead of time but yeah guys that is it for this trip to the thrift like i mentioned before make sure you check out hfv.bigcartels.com if you want to purchase any of these items a link to that will be in the description below along with a link to our instagram which is hfv official and of course a link to my instagram which is at the star life and a link to all my other social networks like my soundcloud my tumblr my twitter uh all that bullshit anyways thank you guys so much for watching go check out and buy this shit and as always keep living the star life i'll be at the thrift store i'm a thrift star i'll be at the thrift store i'm a thrift star i don't have no limit i just put it on the card